Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. We have something absolutely incredible to show you today. You could almost say it's near perfection to use a pun. Uh, we've got an awesome custom service, Sonesh Demon Prints, which we've had the absolute pleasure of completing for our client. One of the things that I absolutely love about custom service and what we do is creating these incredible ideas that our clients have. And this is a real testament to that, showing the sort of level of sort of like creativity that we can kind of employ for you. Again, an amazing, amazing custom service Demon Prints here. Just loads and loads of absolutely awesome details. And there's really so many little areas that I wanna talk about, but to dive in straight away, this is a complete mashup of various different kits, as well as a lot of traditional hand sculpting, which has been done to create this truly incredible one-off character, uh, bespoke character for our client. Um, painted by Adam uh, from the Siege team and uh, sculpted by Steve, one of the uh, sculptors at CS, uh, CS sort of team. Um, really, really well executed uh, across the different areas of the creation of the miniature, both the sculpting and conversion, and then also as well the painting, which Adam has done a phenomenal job on. Um, I really love the slightly desaturated colors. Uh, it's still quite vibrant, still quite bright. Um, but we do have a lot of sort of like more muted tones on the piece as well, which I think is quite nice. Um, I wouldn't say they're too pastel-y, but they, they really do um, they really do work in unison with each other. Really good place to start. Let's just go with the base, obviously, starting from the ground up. Um, a really cool uh, sort of uh, broken kind of like tiled floor, which I think is brilliant. And it really shows kind of like the, the way that the imprints is either sort of like curled up and grabbed that sort of pillar and ripped it out the ground or something, which is great. I love the brazier here with that kind of etheric pinky purple kind of like uh, magical flame that's coming out of it. There's this really little tentacle as well, which is quite cool, just ripping out the ground. And it's, again, it's got that lovely pinky kind of magical etheric kind of glow, which is really awesome. Um, I love the use of the, the uh, tufts as well on the base. I know it's, it's something that's uh, quite often overlooked, but the really good use of some vibrant green tufts just to contrast the pink as well, which I think is lovely, especially with the more neutral tones of the tiles as well. And, and then we move up to the coiling kind of like tail, which I absolutely love. Um, again, every little uh, sort of scale all independently picked out and edge highlighted throughout multiple stages of highlighting, which is great. Um, absolutely love it. And then we move up the torso to this really cool, almost like teal kind of blue kind of uh, cloth that's just on the on the sort of waist or midsection, um, which again, really works with that purple. Lovely uh, contrast there between the two colors. Um, I love the subtle glowing kind of uh, rooms just here on the sort of lower abdomen as well, which is quite cool on the on the sort of tail. Um, and then we've got obviously the the main majority of the of the detail work being all these little trinkets and things. Obviously fully bedecked in non metallic metal as well. Adam's done a really really great job of just uh, doing all the metallics, the golds and the silvers across this model in full non metallic metal, um, which is absolutely lovely. Um, we've got this really awesome kind of uh, helmet or head crest, as a helmet and head crest, should I say. Um, again, all completely bespoke and made to our client specification, which is just something really, really awesome. Uh, shows off the, the level of intricacy that we can execute here at Custom Service. And this is a completely scratch made uh, helm and head, which I think is brilliant. Uh, I love the refraction on the helmet as well, just on those uh, sort of like that dome, as well as obviously on the face plate, you've got that, that light just refracting across the front. Again, all the little areas of detail, the little gems and things picked out in like a tealy blue color as well, just to really contrast and work nicely with those purple tones on there. The, the skin as well being very pallid and pale, which I think just works brilliantly for the model. Um, again, if it was too vibrant or had too much saturation in it, I think it would just contrast, it wouldn't contrast as well to the, uh, to the rest of the armor and the other details that are on there, but having the skin really desaturated um, and really cold looking, just uh, just worked really well with the sort of more warmer tones that are on the on the model. Again, all the little details like the sword, all bedecked in non-metallic metal. We've got I love the split between the the sort of gold uh, handle and haft, and then obviously the the silver blade. I think that's really awesome. Just a nice use of those two sort of materials. Um, again, you've got this beautiful shield just on uh, their, their hip as well. So you've obviously got the refraction of gold and NMM on there. You've got the light catching some of those edges and just refracting and blooming with some secondary highlights as well, which is just really cool. We've got this awesome sort of tattooed kind of like scripture just on the skin as this, on this arm as well, which is just really nice little detail. Again, that's just been requested by a client. And then you, you, we can't not overlook the rear of the model with that lovely cape. Um, that really beautiful blue teal cape. And I love the way that Adam has used the pinky kind of gems on some of the areas just to offset and contrast the, the, the teal colors that are on those um, on those cloths. Let's talk about the wings because they're absolutely awesome. So we've got 
these really massive wings obviously to carry the demon prince aloft and do love the striations that adam's painted on here to show that stretched kind of sinew that's on those wings which is just something really really lovely you can see all the trinkets all the sonesh trinkets so just dangling on these kind of like ropes that are just like sort of like a sort of it's almost like a piercing then with a cable coming out of it which is quite cool again these are all custom all made for, to, to our client's request again you've got all these sonesh trinkets and again use of that pinky kind of gem just in those settings on those uh, on those bits of jewelry uh, just to really sort of stand out against and contrast nicely to the sort of richer browner tones that are on the uh, on the wings. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful demon prints um, and a real sort of centerpiece to any collection or army. Um, absolutely amazing. Really, really over the moon that we could create this one-off bespoke character through custom service for our client. Uh, do hope that you've liked it ever so much. If you are interested in getting uh, your character created, be it from a story that you've thought up or you know a, a character that's been born in a game that you've played or it's, even if it's your favourite character in a book or, or a bit of artwork or something, do get in touch with us. We absolutely specialise in creating one-off bespoke characters as hopefully this Demon Prince is going to be a testament for you. Now, if you are interested in getting a quote for a custom service model, go to the description of this video. There's a link to the custom service contact form. Fill that in completely, send that off to us and you'll get a quote for your character. From all the team here, that's from CS and also Siege, a massive thank you for uh, watching this video. I do hope you've liked this Prince of Perfection and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.